was the night before winter veil when all through Azeroth not a creature was stirring, not even a treasure golem. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that Father Winter would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar cookies danced in their heads. And Mama in her shawl and I in my nightcap had just settled down in a for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a racket, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I blinked like a flash, tore open the shades, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what in my, to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny griffins. With the little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Father Winter. More rapid than eagles, the courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Sprinter, now Leaper, now Jumper and Foxy. On Fireball, on Capped, on Wonder and Blizzard. To the top of the balcony, to the top of the wall. Now haste away, haste away, haste away all. As the dry leaves that before the wild typhoon fly, when they met with a restriction mounted to the sky, so up to the housetop to the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys and Father Winter too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little talent. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney Father Winter came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all stained with ashes and soot. Had backpacks filled with toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening in his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His whimsical little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the breath beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and he smoked it and circled his head like a wreath. He had a generous face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly squares. He was portly and pleasantly plumped, a right jolly old gnome, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to fear. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the fuzzy socks, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and gave a nod up the chimney he rose. He leapt to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a down on a thistle. But I heard him proclaim, ere he flew out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas for Anne Frost. For Anne Frost. <laughs>